Hello, 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 friends, and welcome back to And Then There Was Style. If this is your first time here, please take a moment and subscribe to the channel. That way you don't miss an upload because I upload almost every day, guys. That's how much I love this. Also, take a moment to scroll through some of my previous videos just so you can get a glimpse of what the channel is about. Every home decor style and things dealing with home decor, I bet there's a video on it. But in today's video, let's talk about closet offices or as they are now known, clothices. So before we get into the video, please join our Facebook group and then there was style so we can kind of continue the conversation over there. I'm really trying to build that group up. Also follow me on TikTok and Pinterest and then there was style. Okay, now let's get in the So as our traditional office settings just really continue to evolve, it's important that you can adapt to the current climate in a way that keeps you productive, organized, and ready to get to work. Now, for those of us still in the workforce, we know that the past two years have just been absolutely crazy. Of course, work from home jobs have pretty much always existed, but the majority of the population wasn't including in that until the past two years. Seems like everyone that could work from home did work from home with very good reason, but I just don't think that we have ever seen that many people working from home. Now, since this pandemic was just kind of thrust upon us, we didn't all have the luxury of having a home office ready to convert into our dream work from home situation. A lot of us were just carving out space on a dresser or trying to push the dishes to the side on our dining room tables to create a workspace in the middle of the house with husbands walking around and kids walking around and pets walking around and it was just a hot mess. So, if you have a spare closet or can create one after some much needed organization and decluttering, purging, some Marie kondo then you have enough space to create a smart and stylish office space. I promise you, I'm serious. Now, this space even has a name. Some people refer to it as a closet office, but of course, you know us, we have to shorten it every way we can. So instead of saying a closet office, the true name of this is the clothis. So ahead, I have some tips, some organization tricks, and of course some inspiration. You need to comfortably conduct business out of any closet in your home. Tip number one, organize vertically. Now, in most of our closets, we don't have a ton of space to go horizontal. However, what we do have is a lot of vertical space. And it's no secret that you're working with a small space here. Installing some shelves on your wall will give you tons of storage opportunities while taking up space that would have really otherwise gone unused. Tip number two, hide your clutter. You've heard the phrase, a cluttered desk is the sign of a cluttered mind, and this is especially ringing true in really smaller, tighter spaces. Try to keep your desk as clean and workable as possible by storing away less used items in uniformed and labeled bins on higher shelves. Not only will your closet office look organized and beautiful, but so will your work, hopefully. Number three make it inspiring. The thought of working from inside a closet can honestly feel a little claustrophobic, uninviting, and honestly just a little unrealistic. But the truth is, a productive workspace really comes down to the aesthetics. Paint wallpaper in a print that inspires you and create a style that feels totally you. Trust me, if you do this, you'll look forward to enjoying your morning cup of coffee in here day after day. Tip number four, create a co-working space. So if you have a larger closet, it may be a great idea to install a single built-in desktop that runs the entire length of a small space that can easily accommodate two and maybe even three people. We all can't clear out that many closets so everyone can have their own private clothes, 
However, we can share one, as long as everyone knows the general rules. Keep your stuff on your side and be quiet. Tip number five, install a customizable shelving unit. Now I'm not the only one with a constantly evolving design taste. If you love switching up your decor as often as I do, check out the Container Store. Their Alpha shelving unit attaches to wall-mounted rails. You can add and remove shelves and manipulate the placement whenever the mood strikes for a quick redesign. Now I would say definitely check Amazon as well because we all know the container store can be a bit pricey and not everyone has it in their area and some people actually want to see the product before purchasing it. Number six, get creative with your paint job. Creative paint jobs aren't reserved for full-size rooms only. You can just as enthusiastically infuse tons of much-needed style into a tiny closet office or cloth-office. Alrighty friends, so as we get closer to the end of this video, I want you to take a moment and please let me know which of these clothes that you feel like you could have in your home. So many of us are working from home now that this is almost a necessity if you don't have a home office. Could you see yourself actually transforming one of your closets into a home office? Why or why not? I feel like this is a great solution, especially for those that have a ton of closets that already have ample storage space so you don't really need it. I think this is a great solution, but enough about what I think. You tell me what you think. Just let me know down in the comments section. Let's talk about it. Alright guys, so I've already asked you to comment your favorite clothes down below in the comment section. If you want to know mine, it's this beauty right here. I just felt that this was absolutely gorgeous. I'm a sucker for navy blue anyway and with the wood accents, it was beautiful. Now the only downside to this is that they have completely removed the door so you can't close them. So this is a part of your home. But with one this pretty, I mean like I feel like it's okay. All right, guys, that's our video for today. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with other home decor lovers, and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to join our Facebook group at And Then There Was Style. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye.